Rams. The L.A. Rams have had uh, their second pick now of the second round. They went Cam Akers running back moments ago. They're getting Jared Goff some more help at the playmaker position. Van Jefferson, the wide receiver out of Florida, Danny. So I played with his dad, Sean Jefferson, at Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I, I love his skill set. I think you're going to get a smart, cerebral guy with really strong work ethic uh, that's really going to make an impact right away. Had a lot of production there in Gainesville for the Florida Gators. I think this is, again, we're seeing the run on wide receivers going way higher than we thought, and it's totally understandable, and I think the Rams are going to love his playmaking ability. Pete Prisco loves it. Is this an A, Pete? Oh, it's an A. I, I love this kid. I, I think this he was on my better than team and I've known his dad for since he came out of college. I, I did a story when I worked at the newspaper on his father when he was coming out of Central Florida. And I'll tell you what, I've got I've known him for a long time. He's a great receivers coach and this kid shows that he is the best route runner in this draft not named Jerry Judy and I think if he had a little bit more speed he probably would have been a first round pick he, the Rams are going to kill it with Van Jefferson I love this pick I, 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 I got to imagine Pete that that you like what the Rams have done here in the last 10 picks or so because Cam Akers was perhaps the the running back you liked the most and they're giving Jared Goff the help he needs to to kind of break out of this funk he's been in since the Super Bowl. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have taken Cam Akers in this spot as much as I love him because I think the Rams have some other major needs at play, but I love the player. Don't get me wrong. I think Cam Akers will be the best back in this draft. I really believe that. I said it, you know, going back to the combine, uh, and I think Brady Quinn was right there with me. We love Cam Akers. Bad offensive line of Florida State. So, yeah, you get Cam Akers. You get Van Jefferson. I think Jared Goff's going to be really happy. Usually we have grumpy Pete and happy Jamie, but tonight it's <laughs> Then the other way around, Pete Frisco gives an A, and Jamie Eisenberg has been hating every single fantasy fit so far. Maybe that changes with Jefferson. Yeah, especially uh, since, you know, Pete's a Florida guy, Jamie's a Florida guy. Uh, Jamie, you texted him, you said, he's a gator, he should be mine. I get to talk about this pick. Uh, so tell us how you feel. Do we, do we get a happy Jamie for once? Well, well, first off, Chris, I was actually happy about a Florida State guy, which tells you that I really like Cam Akers as well and the fit for the Rams. And I think this is a smart pick by the Rams also. Look, they lost Brandon Cooks. And so Josh Reynolds may have had an opportunity to be the number three guy. But this feels like a steal. Remember, he didn't run at the combine because he had a foot injury. I was actually walking with him down the street in Indianapolis, uh, talking to him about, you know, his aspects for the uh, NFL and his outlook you know, to what he was going to do at the combine. And then we come to find out later that day that he had the foot injury after he got his medicals back. So he may have gone a little bit higher in the draft. He certainly got the chance to be a playmaker. And I think it's going to be a good opportunity for Sean McVay to do what he always does, which is get creative with playmakers. And so this is a big boost for Jared Goff. It may hurt some of the other guys there slightly with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. And maybe we see a little bit of a downturn for the tight ends of Tyler Higby and Gerald Everett. But it's not a bad idea when you can add playmakers to a team that you know is going to try and outscore everybody every chance they get. That's what they did two years ago when they were successful, and now they're having to rebuild, moving on from Cooks, moving on from Todd Gurley. So I like what they've done so far. This has been a good team for fantasy, as we see with the Rams, when you're adding playmakers to guys like uh, the Rams have done here with Akers and with Van Jefferson. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.